80th celebration, well, commemoration, commemoration yeah. back in France, back and in France. Uh, a really moving thing for them to do. Yeah, it was this year, very nice. And of course, the order had to go by ferry, obviously, to take the vehicles across, and we managed to get their special concession, and they went as uh, caravans or motorhomes or something, they came under that uh, sort of guise. But apparently in 1944, um, Anthony, it was a free ride over if you dropped under the bike roof. Correct, you think? I, I would imagine. Everybody showing themselves off. Oh, yes, it's a Daimler Dingo. My goodness, he was an armoured scout car. Yes. Driven by its owner, Mr. Frank Fostick from West Free in Shropshire. Um, leading military vehicle, the Victor Victory Parade around Goodwood Circus, that commemorated the 75th anniversary of the London Victory Parade, which it took on the... It's our Land Rover in military police, going yeah. past us there. Confidential free phone, 1945 they never cease production of it, and I hate to think how many were made because everywhere in France, tens now, of thousands, surely. Then, yeah, they're, they're still there, it's still being used by people. Big made, just fill all the holes up, that's it. Be made properly. Like, what's the name of the dog? The um, what do you call it? Um, what the figurehead thing? The figurehead and the dog is um, what's the one with the dog with the dog with the dog with the I can't remember. Belfast. Oh, what, Titanic? Titanic. Oh gosh. What's the name of the one that film with it? Oh, well, Kate okay, Winslet. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kate okay, Winslet, well, that's it. <laughs> you know what it's called, isn't it? Yes, yeah. You do anyway. I do, I do. Yeah, don't think anybody else does. You really matter. Marvellous scammers there. Yeah. There's something always about the scammer. But, uh, you know, we, we see a lot of these things repurposed into civilian use, but um, it's it, uh, in the use of with all these contractors. And winds at Newport in South yes. Wales it would have been the biggest heavy, well, the largest heavy haulage contract in the UK at the time with depots all over the country. And they had in the region of 30 or 40 ex military Diamond T long wheelbase six wheelers. And they converted them into diesel engine vehicles and petrol engine vehicles. And they were 200 tonners, you know, and they, they lasted for donkey years. So, yeah. The basic design of those is nothing new. The Royal Engineers were adapted field work. So, and then we come to this the strange looking Land Rover, don't we? Yeah. Obviously, not a wartime one, but all rigged up for lightweight, isn't it? Yeah, the jelly can on the back. Well, no, another little bit that we buy now. And of course, the Land Rover long wheelbase. Um, another military police vehicle from Northern Ireland. We're also thinking about you know, how these things end up in operation. Some of these were being stored for the Cold War. Yeah, but they were. It never happened. No. It's, it's the
Boys, I'm going to reverse. 